Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. For today we got two boxes to open and check out the interior. This one I bought it for myself and this one I got it from my friends from Retroscaler. So let's open it up and see what it is. And just by the shape and by the cheap controller you can already see that I bought a Nintendo GameCube. However, this one I don't know what the hell happened, but this is for sure one of the worst consoles that I ever bought. But as you know me, the worse the better. For the paint residues I can say that at some point its paint is close to my custom Zelda Nintendo GameCube. But enough of this crap, let's open the Retroscaler box and see what it is. As you can already see, this is the new Retroscale Clear Shell for the Nintendo GameCube. And at first view, I already love it. And as always, it came 100% complete with the tools for the assembly. They also include a new Nintendo GameCube gem to the top. So, as always, have a sit, relax, enjoy me while we transform this piece of crap into a custom edition Nintendo GameCube. Stick around. And of course, first let's disassemble all the parts and start from there.
I think I won't need anything from this top part, so I will not disassemble it. And with all the parts disassembled, the first thing to do is clean off the dirt, corrosion and of course that nasty gold paint on some parts. So let's move on. First, I think isopropyl alcohol will be enough to remove the paint, but I was wrong. I have to get something more powerful, industrial cleaner. Let's give it a shot and see if it works. And as you can see, it works. It takes a while, but it works. So let's move on.
for the metal parts they are all with signs of corrosion so I decide to paint them in white. And after several hours of removing paint, wiping and cleaning everything, the interior parts are now in mint condition. The metal parts are also fully dry and ready to be reassembled into the new case. The kit came with two rear face plates, so depending on your GameCube version, you have to choose the current one. Also, you will need to take, if you want of course, the mesh on the side of the vents. Mine are completely destroyed, so I won't use any.
I also recover the original serial number sticker and I will apply it in the new case. Also, you will need to transfer the two rubber feet from the old case, but as mine are completely dirty and ugly, I will use these universal clear feet. They do the job for now. And with that done, this project is complete. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall I know I'm suspect saying this, but man, Retroscaler products never let us down. Awesome quality and this Nintendo GameCube clear shell is one more example of that. Fully complete and full of quality. So if you wanna grab yours, I leave you the link in the description below. But for now, let's plug it in and play some games. And if you're wondering what is this little orange thing, it's also from Retroscaler. It's a blue retro adapter. With this, you can play with a bunch of low tool controllers. I also leave you the link in the description below. And this is all for today. Thanks to Retroscaler to send me another amazing product. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.